Now the topic before us is why hackers target websites and how they do it. In this course, we will try to explore the minds and motives of hackers. In spite of the fact that we have taken the best steps to protect our websites, we often read in the newspapers that the hackers have been able to hack the websites or they are in a position to launch cyber attacks on various websites. The purpose of the hackers may be different. Some hackers launch or attack a website to extract money that is they may be launching some ransomware attack or they want to extract some financial information from the website or some sort of personal information may be stored in the website they want to hack the same or extract the same it may, it may be also possible that some persons hack websites only for the purpose of hacktivism that is they may be they may want to promote a social cause. They may be having an ideology that their government or some particular organization is doing some sort of injustice to them. It may be also possible that a particular person or a hacker may be having some sort of enmity with some another person or he may be hacking that website. So, in this course, we will be understanding all the different motives or the reasons behind the hackers for which they launch website attacks. Though we may have taken the best possible steps to protect our websites, it may be possible that there may be certain weaknesses in our websites. The Hackers like to exploit those weaknesses which are there in our websites. These weaknesses may be weak passwords, outdated software or unpatched security holes. We will also shed the light on the various techniques which are used by the hackers to breach the websites. That is they may be using social engineering tricks. That is you may be receiving a phone call in which they will try to extract some sort of personal information from you. Then there may be some malware attack on your website. We will also shed the light on phishing scams, how they happen, how the betting traps occur. That is they may drop some sort of pen drive beautiful pen drive outside your business premises and you may use that infected pen drive into your computer system which will ultimately hack your computer system and also your website then we will also learn about the man in the middle attacks then we will be also learning about denial of service or distributed denial of service attacks in which the website is overwhelmed with traffic so that the genuine customers are not able to log into the website. So by understanding why the website hacking occurs, how the website hack hacking occurs, we will have a comprehensive understanding of the website security threats and the tools to combat them. You will be now well on your way to becoming a digital guardian of your digital world. Thanks for watching. If you like our course, please spare some time to give a star rating to our course.